Our next presenter is Louise Reguet. Um, Louise is a Paris-based designer and in collaboration with scientists, sociologists, dry toilet companies, and farmers, she works on closing the nutrient cycle between cities and agricultural countryside. She's developed a female urinal, urinal that she calls Marcel that is produced in France and is available for sale in Europe. She's also a member of the designer group called L'Assemblée des Nous, tackling social and environmental issues, especially about food farming and education about nature. So pass it off to you, Louise. Hello, everyone. Uh, so I am a designer and uh, I guess you, uh, from uh, until now, you got uh, experimentation about urine collection, mainly uh, talking about male urinals and men urine because uh, this is the most uh, spread uh, collecting device. And now we're going to talk about uh, women's urine uh, collection too. Uh, so I, for this uh, presentation, I want to introduce you to a uh, female urinal I designed uh, in 2019, which is called Marcel, and it's a waterless uh, female urinal designed on the purpose of urine collection in uh, public buildings. Uh, I uh, also wanted to uh, mention that uh, I kept in mind when I was uh, working on that uh, urinal that a female urinal should provide a cleaner way to pee in public spaces and also a faster way to pee. Uh, as I guess most of girls have, have already experienced uh, travels with uh, huge waiting lines. Uh, I focused uh, the design of the urinal on four very important points that we're going to talk about. And uh, Marcel urinal is uh, made out of uh, stainless steel uh, that is uh, uh, painted, and it's uh, now produced in France in a handcraft metal factory. So first of all, about the position uh, girls uh, are doing to pee, uh, which uh, could be of use for some of you, but actually uh, Marcel has to be used uh, backwards, and it's not that obvious for certain people who thought that uh, uh, a female urinal would be like male urinal, uh, so I had to mention it. Um, girls can't really pee standing because of the trousers, but it's another conversation. Uh, the second very important point is the toilet paper issue. Uh, in France, and I guess in most uh, occidental countries, girls use toilet paper after urinating, and then they put the paper uh, into the toilets. And uh, you can't do that with a waterless urinal. Uh, so for this reason, I designed the matching bin uh, associated with the urinal. And I asked to install this bin with a female urinal to throw away the toilet paper. However, it's such an automatic gesture to throw the paper in the toilets that a lot of girls just forget about the instruction. That's why I decided to design a sort of a lead on the top of the urinal so that visually it's a closed uh, thing and you, it reminds you unconsciously that it's only for liquid and no paper and no poo. And uh, on the end, uh, also this lead is uh, used uh, as a shovel if you need to clean something in the urinal, especially paper and poo, uh, which is unfortunate, but it happens. Uh, so you can use this uh, lead as a, a shovel to uh, clean the urinal. Uh, another th thing I had to work on was the question of uh, instruction because it's a new object and a lot of girls were uh, really, uh, they needed some instructions to know how to use urinal. So I uh, designed these uh, signs and it could seem, uh, well, uh, it could seem uh, unnecessary, but trust me, it's very important to make sure that the people who install the urinal put these signs with. And last but not least, the question of intimacy, uh, which is how uh, girls are hidden when they are pee, when they pee. Um, as I said, I really wanted that uh, the urinal is used to uh, uh, 
uh, provide a very quick uh, way to pee. So when I install Marcel uh, in places with a lot of crowds, I suggest that they don't put such a um, closed uh, room uh, because I, uh, I think it um, makes uh, uh, the time longer. So I suggest that the people just, just install these light walls to hide girl uh, urinating. Uh, so it makes a space that is uh, pretty similar to uh, men's urinals uh, with just a little bit more intimacy as we have to undress a little bit more. So here is an example of uh, an installation I made uh, and it actually worked very well. The only important thing is that uh, with this configuration, the space has to be dedicated to women and no man can go here. Uh, you can uh, find some Marcel uh, in a few places in uh, France, but it's also in, also in Belgium, Germany, and in uh, festivals too. And I just wanted to uh, talk about a specific installation of Marcel I made uh, downtown Paris with a urine collection. Uh, it takes place in a, a place called Les Grands Voisins, which is actually a huge um, uh, spot downtown Paris. It used to be a hospital, but now the hospital is closed. And in the future, it's going to be a new neighborhood called Saint Vincent de Paul. And meanwhile, before uh, the um, buildings are uh, done, there, there are some temporary activities like a restaurant and a bar. And I knew they needed more bathrooms for this space. So I suggested to install Marcel urinals with the urine collection. And also I really wanted that when uh, Parisians go to the bathroom at this spot, they learn about urine used as a fertilizer and they all know about that. Uh, so I installed two Marcel uh, female urinal with uh, the collecting tanks underneath a urinal so that you don't need any pumps, it's all gravity. Uh, here is a view of the general uh, installation. Uh, so you go up to the stairs to access the ladies' uh, urinals uh, and underneath the tanks. Uh, and here is a work I made with an um, illustrator to uh, explain to the public the whole uh, issue about nutrient cycle. And also people could go home with these little pins uh, saying urine is cool. Um, so then the tanks are brought to farmers by dry toilets company and also I wanted to mention that the project is uh, paid by the future uh, urban planner associated with the City Council of Paris uh, because they are thinking about uh, setting up the urine collection in the whole neighborhood uh, which I will take part in the project too so I hope I will talk about it next, next year <laughs> uh, but it's going to be a big project I, I hope so. Uh, so to finish, I uh, have other projects about uh, urine collection with different kind of uh, stakeholders. Uh, and, um, and I thank you for the, your attention. Uh, you, can ha you have here an overview of an uh, uh, art project I made about uh, uh, it's uh, all pictures of girls urinating in buckets and the purpose of this work was to uh, tackle the taboo of uh, women's pee. So thank you, bye. <laughs>